video, it says that in the diagram below, line S is parallel to line T, and line R is a transversal. So here's line R, that's the transversal, cutting across our two parallel lines, S and T. What is the measure of angle X? So here's angle X. They give us this angle of 68 degrees. First, I'm, I, I think about corresponding angles. And that just means angles that are in the same position at the intersection. So the same position. So 68 degrees and this angle right here are in the same position. They're in the upper left-hand corner at the intersection. Here's our intersection. There's upper left, upper right, lower left, and lower right. Since they're both at the upper left, they're the same degree, same measure. That means they're corresponding. So corresponding angles are equal, and that's in the case when we have a transversal cutting across two parallel lines. So if that's true, I feel like the rest um, just kind of falls into place, which is that we have a straight line right here, and remember that equals 180 degrees. So if we have 68 degrees plus something, Right? We don't know what this angle is, but we do know that if we add them up, we get a full half semicircle or a straight line, and that's 180 degrees. So what plus 68 is 180? Well, I would subtract 68 from both sides, and then I get, well, this is 0, so, so x equals 12, 112, excuse me, right? Because 112 plus 68 is 180, so our missing angle is 112 degrees. Alright, hope that helped.